The Daily Code Snippet. The backdrop filter property also has inconsistent browser support. It depends on which browser and whether you have the latest versions. It is used to apply graphic effects such as blur or color shift to an area behind an element. The element must be made partially transparent. A common use would be for a text box over a background image that allows the text to be read more easily. Backdrop filter also accepts the global values of inherit, inherit, initial, revert, and unset. Possible values for backdrop filter include backdrop filter none, backdrop filter blur with a pixel value, backdrop filter brightness with a percentage, backdrop filter contrast also with a percentage, backdrop filter drop shadow with two or three pixel values and the color. Backdrop filter grayscale with a percentage, backdrop filter hue rotate with degrees specified, backdrop filter invert with a percentage, backdrop filter opacity with a percentage, backdrop filter sepia with a percentage, backdrop filter saturate with a percentage. You may need to add hyphen webkit hyphen and hyphen moz hyphen prefixes for this property to work on browsers other than Google Chrome. Let's look at these in action. Here's the HTML. Note, the placeholder text has been truncated and we are again using class attribute source CSS can be targeted. Now let's look at the CSS. First, we are loading a background image into our body. Then we have a div that contains a background color with a 50% transparency. The first option is a backdrop filter set to none. We're using our prefixes to help the Safari and Firefox browsers recognize the property. Next, we look at blur. And the third option is brightness. Note that we are only changing the code of the backdrop filter property. It is a little difficult to see the differences in these options, especially with a cloud background, but the third brightness is clearly darker than the other two. The next examples look at these options. Backdrop filter contrast, 80%. Backdrop filter drop shadow, 6 pixels, 6 pixels, 12 pixels green. Backdrop filter grayscale, 40%. Backdrop filter hue rotate, 270 degrees. Backdrop filter invert, 80%. Backdrop filter opacity, 80%. Backdrop filter sepia, 80%. And backdrop filter saturate, 80%. We proceed through the rest of the options, changing only the backdrop filter property. Some of these changes are easier to see than others. For example, the middle example, invert, results in a clear difference. And the addition of sepia changes the color tone. Presented by Designers Learn Code.